Sunday School to you today. The revelation of Jesus Christ is not a letter. It's a book. It is written in Revelation 1:11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. For years! Folks have been teaching and preaching in error that the revelation of Jesus Christ is the revelation of John the Divine. That's a lie. For years, folks have been teaching and preaching in error that the revelation of Jesus Christ is a series of letters to the seven churches which are in Asia. That's a lie, too. The revelation of Jesus Christ is a book written to instruct John to write the things he has seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. Revelation 119. The revelation of Jesus Christ is the last book in the volume of the book of the Lord. If you add words to the prophecy of this book or take away from the words of the book like folks have already done with these Vatican Protestant Revised Version Bibles, then you will be in everlasting damnation. As the scriptures say in Revelation 22, 18 and 19, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. The purpose of this book is to tell the church by Christ Jesus, Ephesians 3.21, to overcome. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Spirit of Prophecy, Revelation 19.10, is telling the church by Christ Jesus, using the congregations in Asia as our example. Number one, you left your first love which is the truth. Repent, or I will replace you. If you overcome, you will eat the tree of life in the paradise of God. Revelation 2, 4, 5. Number two, I know which one of y'all ain't got no money. Folks are literally killing you in countries all over the world where Satan's places of worship are. Stay faithful unto death and you will get your crown of life. He that overcomes shall not be hurt of the second death. Revelation 2, 9 through 11. Number three, I know which one of y'all have the doctrine of Balaam, kissing graven images and fornicating, even with the little ones. Repent, or I will fight against you with the sword of my mouth. If you overcome, you will have a white stone with a new name, eating hidden manna. Revelation 2, 14 through 17. Number four. I know which one of y'all got that Jezebel spirit and all the men going along with that disobedience. Y'all been seduced to commit adultery and eating the garbage that has been sacrificed to graven images that you idolize. I gave Jezebel space to repent, but she won't do it. If y'all don't repent, you're going to die. Your children are going to die. You're going to be left behind in great tribulation. 
to the rest of y'all that have not accepted this doctrine or not known the depths of Satan, hold on till I come. If you overcome to the end, I will give you power over the nations. You will rule with a rod of iron, even as Jesus Christ received of his Father, and Christ will give you the morning star. Revelation 2, 20 through 28. Number five, I know y'all have my living name, but you are dead. You ain't perfect. Matthew 5, 48. Repent and watch because I'm coming as a thief in the night. Some of y'all have not defiled your garments and you will walk with me because you are worthy. He that overcometh shall be clothed in white raiment and I will not block your name out of the book of life, but I will confess your name before my father and before his angels. Revelation 3, 1 through 5. Number six, I know you all that ain't got but a little strength, just a small remnant of y'all, but you have kept my word, the doctrine of Christ, and has not denied my name, doing all things in word and deed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I open a door for you that no man can shut, not Satan, or the false Jews, folks that ain't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, who ain't been filled with the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues, whose circumcision is not of the heart and in the spirit. Acts 2.38, Mark 16.17, Romans 2.28-29. 2, Those that lie, they can't even shut that door. You keep my word, and I will keep you from the hour of temptation, which will try the whole world. Don't let nobody take your crown. He that overcometh, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. I will write upon him the name of my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Revelation 3, 8 through 12. Number seven. I know y'all that ain't cold or hot. You're lukewarm, so I you out of my mouth. Y'all say I'm rich. We got stuff. We got the blessing plan and don't need nothing. But you don't even know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. My counsel is that you get a real sent by God preacher and get rid of these tinkle your itchy ears preachers telling y'all that you are right you see it and y'all going to heaven anyway the real man of god will give you my message to make you go try in the fire then you will be rich with white garments so you don't be broadcasting your shame all over the world Anoint yourselves with holiness and righteousness all the days of your lives using that I Sam, so you can see. I rebuke you because I love you and whip you so that you be zealous and repent. Look, I'm standing at the door knocking so that you will let me into your heart. Then you can sit with me in my throne because you overcame like I overcame to sit in my father's throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 3, 14 through 22. Amen. And amen.